In the last video we installed CodeBlocks and GCC compiler. On this video we are going to install the next one which is WX widgets. To do that we need to compile it from the source code. That's the best thing to do, although it takes quite a long time. It, uh, it's gonna take many hours depending how we're gonna compile all of them, which I, I will do myself. But let's start. And it, here, are the, here are the links uh, how to compile WX widgets. I will put these links um, below the, the comments. So, what we need to do first, we need to go to the WX widgets homepage. And here, download now. And from here, I have Windows, so I choose Windows chip, zip, I mean. And um, there it comes. And just save the file. I've already saved this file, so I'm not going to do it now. But uh, so so I, I'm not going to. I already have this file here. So next, uh, it's here. Next, next, we just need to unzip that that um, on on the C C drive. I've done it already here, it's here. So we unzip on, on, on the C drive here and uh, we can put this kind of name name so we can use it later on. Alright, the ne next thing we need to do here is that we need to set the in environment path. path uh, so we can we can run these commands and uh, yes so go into control panel systems advanced in the environment variables and from system variables we find the path section and edit and uh, at the end of this we should have this this compiler which we had last time and just to make make sure that you have this this one here this was from the last video so we need that here okay and next thing we need to do is to we need to run the call to the go to this folder using the command prompt so I will go to the command prompt And um, okay, there we are, there we are. And now what we need to do is that we need to run all of these. First we need to clean the old stuff if we have. Well we don't have but I'm still doing it. This clean at the end here, this clean here means that we are cleaning the old stuff I think. And what else we have here? We are using Unicode. With this, uh, so this will, this will compile WX widgets from the source codes. So we are making release. This means that we are making release, and it's a Unicode uh, text mode. Um, it's not a shared library. I think it, I think it means that static library. So zero means that we are creating a static library, and this one means something like that. It will add everything to the source code. It will everything goes to the one package kind of. And this is that we want to use OpenGL. Uh, with certain certain libraries in the WX widgets. I'm not sure if we really need this uh, but um, <coughs> just in case I will put that and vendor I think this means uh, CB like a code blocks. 
That is, by the way, can be found from here. The code blocks thing, where it is again. Okay, it's one of these links that the code blocks thing, it's here. I will copy this link and so we can see it from here. Okay, so here, here this is a code block, code blocks website site. So it's it says um, here. That one comes from here. So it's code blocks, code block. It, it knows that it's a code code block ID uh, IDE. All right. So we will, we will first clean. So I will copy this, and I will put it here paste and go. And after that we need to we need to run we need to um, and the next line without clean will will then compile WX widgets from the source code. So we need to do this for all of them, all of them. I will choose this one now. Um, I haven't installed any of these three. I have already installed these last two. So I will now install rather this uh, debug here. But uh, uh, we, we need to install all of these four, all of these four. Um, I will take now this debug version. This one and I will install on my computer. Okay, and this will take very long time. So now, now if you, you can go maybe shopping or something, this will take one, one half hour or one hour, depending how fast computer, but it's gonna take an hour or something. So I will leave it now, run and uh, and after this, we should have have it compiled. And now, VX, WX widgets has finished the compiling. And so let's see what we have at the moment. So we have compiled now these two. These two I've compiled. So one one more time, one more time to to compile all all options, I will I will I will do all of these. So it's always clean first, and then run the one without the clean. So also these release versions from here, here. So I've I've only done this debug version, and it's um, it's a static library here because shared is zero here. So. We need to remember that when we when we use the uh, W widgets soon. So let's see what we can how how we can use this now in in code blocks. Okay, and now we'll close this. Project. Okay, and here we here we start start creating. We create a project here, and um, we select this uh, W widgets project here. And here, obviously, we we choose the three point zero because we have three point zero two. And here we can put the name of the project. Let's say test two. And here, here we need to put the the location of the of the uh, where it's located. This this W widget, the parent folder 
folder here. Um, first time when we come, this is because this is the second time when I came here, so I didn't get that message. But first time when I came here, I got this message, this kind of message here. It's it's gonna ask uh, ask that uh, to set this variable variable. It might be a little bit confusing, and I'm not sure if we really need this, but just just to put here the same same folder. So we need to put here the same folder as I we just put uh, into the other box. So we we would need to put here C W which which sets three O three O two here, and then just close. And here, because because um, I only uh, I only installed debug debug version, so obviously I can't I can't at the moment I can't try to make release versions. So I only select debug here. And here, these are important things. So this needs to be this tree here needs to be exactly the same uh, what we used when we compiled compiled the widgets. So let's see what we had here not this one but this one so the first one is that use widgets dll we had zero so so this means that we have a static library so we and dll is the opposite of static so we don't we don't want dll we want static if this was one if it if it was one here what we used then we would need to tick this first one the second one is um, this monolith monolithic library, and we had one, so we ticked that one. And the last one, enable Unicode, and we had one, so we ticked that one as well. And here we go. And now everything seems to work. It will create the W widgets project automatically here. We can compile. And from here we can see that we are using debug only. We don't have release at all at the moment. But after we install all of them, then we can use both. After installing all of these, all of these four, we can use debug and release. And we can also use static and uh, and uh, DLL versions. Okay, and now it's ready, and let's run this, and it works. Works here. We don't have release at all. Let's see the settings here. What we have here. So these these are set automatically. The code blocks automatically puts all of these here. All of the also these these um, these parts here. So everything works. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.